All right, take number two. Hopefully we don't lose this one. Feels like a good one. First white fish potentially coming in the boat. I said that last time and I lost it, so hopefully. Hey, Piscatorians, welcome back to the channel. The clips that you're watching are from a previous trip at Banks Lake. This was my first trip fishing for white fish. And with that being said, in that video, I talked about eating white fish for the first time. Now, day two, I did smoke some white fish and uh, tried it that way and it was delicious. But today, I'm gonna try a new recipe to actually cook the fish and see how it comes out. If you look at the uh, link above, that'll take you to uh, the white fish videos if you haven't checked them out. But let's get to it. I got a new tool for the kitchen and you're about to see it. All right guys, so the first thing that we're gonna need to do is chop up one big clove of garlic. Uh, so that's what uh, we're gonna do here. Pardon the knife skills, not a professional chef, but uh, you'll get the idea here. All right, now that the garlic's chopped, we're gonna get some uh, ginger, um, almost equal size uh, piece of ginger. I'm gonna put this over in the bowl real quick. And all right, so here's the ginger. You're gonna wanna remove the uh, skin. I just kinda cut it off like you see here. Doesn't take too long to do. Just have a nice sharp knife and trim it up a little bit. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, slice the ginger. There's a little more I gotta get off. But all right, we're just gonna cut that kind of the same way we did uh, the garlic. Get a few nice pieces there. stack them up and cut them into little little lengthwise pieces kind of like ginger french fries but different get this stack down here put these in a bowl and then I got the base sections of some green onions I'm gonna go kind of at a diagonal cut here uh, just because I think it looks a little bit fancier but you can cut it however you want um, this can be used for kind of a garnish later in the dish um, the top pieces I reserved and we're gonna be uh, using that in the uh, sous vide that's the magic uh, new gadget I got, it's a sous vide immersion circulator. But anyway, real quick, we're gonna get the frying pan out, a little extra virgin olive oil. I just poured about that much in. Now we're gonna uh, saute the garlic and the ginger, just to kind of help uh, release a little more of that flavor. So here goes the ginger that we just cut. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, put that to about eh, three and a half, kind of like a medium. Uh, heat medium medium low somewhere in there you just want to keep an eye on it keep stirring it and uh, once that's done we're gonna put this in a bowl and uh, we're gonna set that aside for later now we have a uh, white pepper sesame seed oil uh, mirin rice wine and Kiko man soy sauce if you like um, a little less salty you could go low sodium option um, I'll give a link to the description below of what the uh, amounts were. Uh, here's one of the bigger white fish that um, I caught at Banks Lake. Um, I went ahead and scaled that one and I've already removed all the bones, even the little pesky pin bones with some pin bone pliers. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this now. I'm um, going to look at um, probably like three uh, portions here. I've got the old Dexter Russell fillet knife, which is nice and sharp. I'm just going to make three nice cuts, as you can see, no bones, and uh, yeah, that gives you a good look. I left the skin on, but it's all scaled. Um, this was about a three pound white fish, 
we're just doing one side. Now we're getting the vacuum sealer out. Um, as you can see, I poured all the liquids um, along with the uh, sauteed garlic and green onion. Um, or excuse me, not green onion, but the um, garlic and ginger. And then I took uh, about four pieces of chopped green onion, about three inches long, and then I put them in the bag. And now we're vacuum sealing that shut. And it's making sure it's got a good seal. And I kind of used a uh, big bag, because this is my first time doing this, so you guys are coming along for the ride. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and fold that up. And here we go, this is a sous vide immersion circulator. It's pretty cool. So it's basically a, uh, about a, what is that, I think a six quart container with water. We're gonna go ahead and set the temperature to 145, which is kinda gonna give us a well done fish. Um, I got this idea from a black cod recipe I saw online. I figured why not try it for whitefish. Um, but we're gonna cook this for a half an hour. Um, I think if you wanted to go, you know, a little more medium, maybe 142 would be a better temperature. But being this is my first time trying this, I want to make sure it's cooked. So uh, now you can see that water circulating. Uh, we're up to temperature, and all you got to do is drop the bag into the water. And then we're going to come back in 30 minutes, which is going to happen really quick. Boom, 30 minutes, and we're done, folks. Grab the tongs. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. And then uh, we're gonna set it aside once we get it out of the, the container here. And then we're gonna go ahead and get a, uh, a saucepan with a uh, sieve strainer. And we're gonna cut the bag open and pour the liquid into the saucepan. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn that up to uh, medium heat and then uh, bring it back to about medium low and we're gonna go ahead and reduce that to about one third just got to get all this liquid out all right we're gonna reduce this down here at a medium low heat and then we're gonna put the dish together basically pouring this liquid into a bowl as you can see here then we got the fish and the green onions uh, this is a delicious dish. Um, it's a little bit on the saltier side, but I think it was fantastic. So again, if you want to go low sodium, that's okay. But uh, hopefully you guys liked today's video. I appreciate you watching as always. I'm looking forward to getting out real soon and getting some more fishing content. Just got to get my boat out of the shop. But again, guys, thanks for watching and tight lines.